Well, hi, everybody, and welcome back to Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. Now, I would be outside, but the wind is blowing like crazy. Joe's off to go to karate, and I had put my video together on an, our arbor. And then somehow part of it was gone. <laughs> so I had to do some other things, but my beginning and end weren't there. And it's just too windy to be outside. So... I got a free arbor. It was all t it was all taken apart from a neighbor. It was really rusted out on certain spots. Other parts were just perfect. And so I'm going to show you how Joe fixed it. How he filled those uh, that metal that was all corroded away and cleaned it all up, fixed it for me, and then put it together. But then I need your help because I have to decide what to plant over top of it. The one side will get water all summer long because it's right along that flower bed. My dad said climbing roses, but you know me, I would really rather have something that I could eat. So I was thinking maybe grapes. There's a few grapes that will grow down here. Um, something that climbs and it's beautiful. I don't want it just to climb. I want it to be beautiful too. So in the comments below, if you could tell me your ideas of what to, to grow because I'm sure there's things I'm not even thinking about. Now remember, it's in Yuma, Arizona. The temperatures are extremely hot in the summertime. Most of the afternoon, it will be in shade though. So that's something to think about. Plus it'll get watered. But I am kind of just at a loss and for sure what to do. Let's go put an arbor together. <laughs> Here's the arbor when I brought it home from the neighbors. It has, it's arched. It is already painted white. And if you look at it from a distance, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. But the closer you are to it, there's certain spots that are really all rusted out and you just really can't see them from this view. Now, Joe's using some foam and you can see where it's all rusted in there. And so that foam is going to fill that entire cavity. And I know it looks like there's nothing going in there, but just keep watching. And pretty soon, all of a sudden, it just starts squirting out all over the place. But the reason that he's using that, oh, there goes something right there <laughs> popping out, um, is that it, it gets real hard. And then when it gets all the way dry, Joe will scrape that off. And then he's going to use this other stuff to seal it so that the, the moisture and the water, bugs, stuff like that won't get in there. But that foam stuff is really fun, weird, funky stuff to work with. But he's going to do that any place that there's some rust. Let it dry overnight, then come back and he's going to scrape that all off. Now the next day it's all scraped off and he's using some stuff by JB Weld. And it's just really sealing up any place where that was those holes. And again, he's going to let it dry till the next day. And see how it, um, it looks really weird and funky, but it's really much more solid now than it was before. So I have it on cardboard because I don't really want to spray paint the rocks. And we're using a Rust-Oleum spray paint. It has both a primer and the paint in there. It's a high quality um, white gloss and it will take a, just over two cans to spray paint everything. So Joe likes to do short little spurts and you always have to make be careful that you don't do it on a too windy of a day because you don't want that paint going like on your car or um, things that you have in your yard. So he just takes his time you know, spraying it little sections at a time. And it doesn't take long before it really changes what it looks like. Because that bottom part was really where there was so much rust on different parts of it. So this whole section is done. He does have to flip it over and we'll spray paint just that little bit that is on the cardboard right now. But I have to say, I'm loving it. And I think, they should have just done those things and they would have had a great arbor 
for their yard. But there's Joe standing in front. Success. <laughs> but I really like it. And it's just a gateway to go to this, that side of the house next to the neighbors. And I have all my flower bed, that really long flower bed that I showed in a video, um, me, me making it, Joe put in the water lines in. And I think once the plants, because there's a lot of perennials in here besides the annuals right now, and the perennials are large. So eventually it will really block a lot of that view of the neighbors. But this is where I need the plants. Now you can see there's a water, spick, or little, um, watering thing right there in the dark dirt that is where i'm going to actually plant the plants and then i'm just going to let them go over and i'll tie them as they go up over the arbor and it gets watered it's on a watering schedule right now every three days that comes on and in the summertime i'll have it water longer but i think it can really give it a nice look to it and Joe did a great job of really restoring that arbor that somebody was just going to throw in the trash. So always look around and see what other people have that you might be able to use. Well, everybody, there's the arbor. What should I plant? Because I love the arbor now. And in fact, in front of where that gas meter is, because we don't even have gas but I'm not paying the gas company to remove it. So I would, I'm, I'm, I have part that came with that arbor and it was some kind of gate system that was, I don't know where they had that part, but it's large enough to cover that. So I, I'm just got to finish spray painting that and I'll put that up there too. And then I'm gonna put plants in front of it in pots. But I appreciate it. Always like, subscribe, share with the world. I will see you next time. And tomorrow morning I have a lie. Okay? Whispers to your younger self. That's what it's called. See you then.